Hi everyone, this is Mrs. McCormick. I just wanted to show you how your child can log on and get onto their Google Classrooms so that there was no confusion. If you don't know your child's Google account, please reach out to your child's teacher and we will get it to you. Um, some of the accounts have the student's graduating year, but newer students and kindergarten students do not have their graduating year. They just have a random assortment of numbers. So you will need to reach out to your child's teacher or they will reach out to you to let you know what those numbers are. So all emails start the same with your child's first name and their last initial. And then this is the part that is sometimes a little different, maybe graduating year, maybe the number two if there's another student with the same name. So that's the part that you won't really know. At students at longwoodschools.org. Their password will be their birthday in numbers. Um, so for example, if they were born in March, their birthday password would be 03 for the month. Um, and then the day is the same thing. So if they're born on the 21st, it would just be 21. But if they were born on the 1st, it would be 01. And then the full year, so 2008, 2012, whatever year they were born. Um, this will bring you to the main Google page. Uh, this is where you can search for things, find your email. Up here, or what we call the chiclets or the waffle, that's where all your Google apps will be. And you will find the button for classroom. You want to continue as your child. They will be a student. Um, most of you will have been invited by your teacher and you can just click the join button. If you have not, there's a plus sign right over here, join class. And the district will be putting out a list of all of the teacher's class codes. So if your teacher didn't send it to you, or you need to find the PE teacher, or the librarian, or um, a learning specialist, or a band and orchestra teacher, you can just type their code in right here and click join and the teacher will give you access to it. So since Juliana already has access to my class, she will just press join. And your teacher's page will pop up something like this. The easiest way to find the work is to click on this button where it says classwork. That will give you a lot of directions. And there's a whole bunch of different things on your teacher's pages. Some are separated by subject. Some are separated just by day. Um, we want you to do whatever you can. Don't feel pressure because there's a lot on the page at once. We just wanted to give you as much as we could so that our students are still getting as much academics as we can during this crazy time. Um, so if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. One other thing I did want to say is if the teacher, um, let's see, if the teacher has something um, that needs to be completed, like a document or a Google slide, Make sure that at the end, after you do it, you press the turn it in button so that your teacher knows that it is finished. And that is important, otherwise your teacher will not know. So any other questions, please reach out and we will talk to you all soon.